Good morning, fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 20th, 2019. My goodness, this month has gone fast, and what a crazy month it has been. Um, wild price action, a lot of uncertainty um, in this market. And as we approach this weekend, holy moly, we still have some more. Yesterday, we had a really nice move in the morning. We popped up, markets looked like they were ready to run up and attack all-time highs in the market. And then it just kind of died on the vine. Uh, sellers came in and we had a 15-minute um, chart here. You can see after that pop and a little bit of a run, um, sellers came in, pushed us right back down, filling the gap yesterday and, and pushing us back down uh, pretty strongly into the close. Um, leaving behind a lot of uncertainty in um, in this chart so let's talk about that for a second first off we we know we're trying to test these all-time highs in the market and um, right now we currently have a nice bullish uptrend in play we're holding on to some support levels in here so far but there's all of this uncertainty out there as to what comes next in the, uh, you know, the possible retaliation attack on the, uh, on the Saudi oil fields. There's the beginning of the low level talks for um, U.S. China trade all this uncertainty and then we have a day where there's virtually nothing going on except some fed speakers on the economic calendar and virtually nothing going on on the earnings calendar so we have a market that's just kind of um well it's going to be interesting to see where those bulls and bears might find their inspiration today what they'll be re reacting to this morning right now we have just a very slight bullishness in uh the dow futures this morning up 51 points showing a little tiny tiny pop up this morning um after yesterday's selling um so at least we're showing a hold of this price support at least at this point and um that in its in and of itself is a good thing but one wonders as we head toward the weekend with the news out there circulating that um, um, the briefing of the president on uh, retaliation ideas or uh, opportunities or shall I say options um, is, is going to begin here soon that makes one wonder if that retaliation happens over the weekend what that could create um, a lot of hard th decisions for a trader to make today as we move into the weekend technically speaking once again though in the short term we are in an uptrend so i don't want to give anybody the impression that we're not in an uptrend where our uptrend is good as a matter of fact we're holding well above our 50-day moving average if we get some kind of selling that comes in um, remember we have yet to test this 50-day moving average as support which is fairly typical when you cross over a major moving average, you come back for a test. But so far, that's not been the case here in the market. So um, kind of an interesting setup here. A lot of, um, well, uh, just kind of raise your hands and say, I don't know. I don't know what, what we have here. We have the contradicting signals where we've got the nice long move. We've got a weekend ahead with some bearish candles printed yesterday, testing resistance highs. Uh, could this end up being the double top? I, I I don't know. Is is that a problem for us? Maybe. Um, or are we going to find enough inspiration to push on through? And I got to tell you, honestly, I, I would find it a little bit unlikely that we push up here this far and not find those institutions come up with some kind of a way to uh to push us on through to get those new headlines but we'll wait and see let's take a look at the spy spy very much a similar situation where it pushed up trying to break through and we got a new high print by one tick i think yesterday new high print and then sellers came back in so we have this little um, a wick up here these wicks up here showing a possibility of a short-term double top and still finding it challenging to break through and hold above 
these all-time highs. The good news is, again, we are still hovering right in this area. We're holding above some price support levels in the chart, so everything is copacetic there. Trend is good. Now we're just going to have to wait and see where the inspiration for today comes in. And as you can see, the SPY is uh, looking to open just a tiny little bit lower this morning. Um, we'll have to wait and see if we get any follow through to that. So a little bit of mix, a little bit of. Well, uh, uncertainty, right? I mean, I we have all this contradiction in terms heading into the weekend. It's kind of difficult to know. Um, where we stand. Let's take a look at the queues. The queues um, showing uh, a little bit more concern. Um, we ha we have yet to break through this area. We have um, a shooting star top here, a shooting star top here with an opposing bullish tail down here. Um, now these happen to be lower. That's a lower high. Um, could we get that follow through to the downside on that? I don't know because this morning we're actually showing the NASDAQ wanting to push a little bit higher here this morning, getting a little bit of a positive bump up. So again, we've got that confusion. We've got these um, lower highs to kind of deal with. We're uh, still in our upward trend um, and we're still holding on to price support. So. Um, just confusion as we head into um, head into Friday with not much for the market to react to. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM, now it kind of made a decision yesterday um, turning south, but we still have that good news that we could hold this overall downtrend as support. So far, we haven't broken that down. So turning south here um, after an amazing run up, but we're not out of the woods here on IWM, but it's also not um, giving us really good warm and fuzzies for bullishness yet. So we have some price support levels right through this area in here that we'll want to watch on this pullback. If we can find that support and see those buyers step in, we could be in great shape here on IWM. However, on the other hand, if we happen to slip back below those levels, uh, just more confusion um, in the market and a little more bearishness could come in uh, to, to take over. So uh, kind of a confusing day for sure. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX um, still holding up. Yesterday, we, we uh, initially saw that fear dropping. In fact, we hit that new low level in fear and just recent pricing and uh, dropped us back down in here at one point yesterday into uh, that 13 handle. We ended up finishing the day right about a 14 handle here on the VIX, um, holding on to this downtrend so far and still um, maintaining itself below this resistance. So we'll have to watch in here who takes over from this point, I don't know, or will we just have a day of uncertainty? Um, just keep an eye on that VIX. There's not a whole lot of fear here in the market, uh, to be sure. Let's take a look at T2122, which is a four-week new high, new low ratio. And you know, I get more questions about this than about anything else. Where do I find this? And, and just to answer those questions, as far as... I, I use uh, TC2000 and I highly recommend TC2000 as charting software. It's just really great charting software. And the T2122 indicator uh, is included in that. Um, I would suggest doing a web search to see if you can find it someplace else if you're interested in this. Or just continue to watch these videos every day because I cover it every single market day. So. Um, with this indicator, as you can see, I plotted it as just a simple line chart. And no matter how far back you go in this chart, you will find that once we reach up here into these levels, we run into a price resistance zone. It's telling us that we're a little bit extended or a little bit overbought when that occurs. It doesn't necessarily mean we have a pending collapse in place, just that we're a little bit stretched out. When we reach down into these levels, we are a little bit oversold and kind of stretched to the downside, and we typically get that bounce back up. 
So when we look at this price action here, it's a little bit confusing, right? Because we're, we're getting one of these price action moves right in here where we're just kind of hanging out. We can't seem to get the inspiration to really shove higher and bust through those resistance levels yet. And yet the bears don't seem to have enough teeth to uh, push us lower. So we're kind of hanging out up here around that bearish reversal zone. So keeping that in mind, um, what T2122 is telling us is that we still have upside opportunity here in the market. We need to find that inspiration and get that push ha to happen to break through those all-time highs. But it's also telling us that we have a big, deep hole here that we could slip into and see those sellers coming into place. So um, a little bit of an uncertainty here as we head into the weekend. Will we hold up? Will the sellers come in? Will the buyers come in? Um, who knows? Or will we just chop sideways and have another frustrating day where we really go nowhere? And that could be the case. So when you look at T2122, don't in any way, shape, or form think that this is a predictive tool. It's really not. It's it's um, it's your accuracy, just like any indicator, it's your accuracy of reading that tool that tells us when we have reached maybe overbought or oversold conditions, and we have to be extra watchful for those potential um, uh, price action moves to um, to happen. So up in here, we, we are up here in that bullish reversal zone, so we always want to keep it um, in the back of our mind that bears could come in at any time and that the momentum could push to the downside. But but um, we're not seeing those bears provide all that moment, all that much momentum, or all that much tenacity even to push lower. So um, if those bulls get inspired by that, we could see that push higher. So a little bit of confusion wrapped around this as well uh, today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today, which honestly is just about as boring as they come for an economic calendar. As you can see, we have Fed speak here today and that's really it we have the Baker Hughes rig count not expected to move the market at all so not much there to provide inspiration to the market um, for bulls or bears unless we get something new from the Fed speakers and I think that would be unlikely um, on the earnings calendar today, we have a whopping four companies reporting earnings today, and I don't see any of them that would be necessarily um, market moving at all or even particularly notable today. So the market's really going to be left to its own devices today and how it may or may not react um, to um well, I think probably could be very news driven today, politically news driven, if there's back and forth on uh, trade war things or back and forth news on potential um, or retaliation of the Saudi oil fields. Um, anything is possible here today and just a little bit of cautiousness um, may want to be taken as we head into the weekend. Plan your weekend risk carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button there on um, on Facebook, and if you happen to watch it there, and then click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Guys, those are just so amazing. Uh, it's so amazing when you guys do that and take the time to just leave a brief comment even. Thank you so much to everyone who does that. It means the world to me. It honestly does. I, I'm not just giving that lip service. I got to tell you, some of the comments are incredibly humbling to me. Thank you so much for that. You guys are incredibly kind, and I truly, truly appreciate it. So if you find this video helpful, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and then always feel free to share any of these videos with friends and family. Um, they're all available for that. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that 
that really could be setting up. There could be some some signals in there that you might be wanting to look for um, trades that might be coming. Now, remember, every time I show you a chart um, or trade in here, it's just that potential of a setup. Um, I'm not giving any recommendation to buy or sell any security in these videos. So keep that in mind when um, I go through and show some of these. Let's take a look at Google. Google is setting up here. We've had a nice little trend and we're pushing against some price resistance here in the chart. But three days of this nice little consolidation over here toward trend, I think we should be watching Google for that potential of that pop out here at any time. Um, obviously, a stock can fail from these locations as well. But because we're currently holding trend, I want to favor the upside in this. And I would be watching um, that upside potential move here in Google and also Alphabet, uh, Google L. Uh, so watch that uh, closely. Could be kind of an interesting uh, thing going on here. Another one you might want to take a look at is Facebook. Facebook, I need to move this line. Facebook has been um, trying to move back up. Now we do have resistance in this chart and this could go a couple of different ways. As you can see, we tried to break through moving higher, this little um, consolidation area here, made that higher low in this chart and trying to show bullishness to the upside. But if we take a look at this chart carefully, there's also this possibility that we're forming a head and shoulders top. I don't know which wins out here, but we'll want to watch this price action pretty carefully. If this rally can continue up into here and then show failure, then I would I would lean more heavily toward that head and shoulders top pattern. However, if it can hold um, move up in here and hold this as support, then there's still that opportunity we can move on higher. Kind of an interesting chart to be paying attention to, maybe a nice study chart um, overall. Um, one to keep in mind. Take a look at Caterpillar. Now Caterpillar's had a really nice move up. It's being challenged by its overall downtrend here. As you can see, we've rallied up into that area, pushing against that and pulling back. But here's what I like about this chart so far is that we're pulling back in a rather controlled way. So pulling back and maybe holding in this area um, as price support. If we can see those buyers maybe step up in here, we may have an opportunity for this to break that downtrend and really start moving some of these um, higher uh, cap stocks uh, back up. So keep an eye on Caterpillar. That's an interesting little pattern that that's setting up. And by the way, that happens to translate over into a lot of the big equipment. Take a look at um, John Deere. Uh, John Deere. I'm um, also pushing up here, consolidating against a price resistance, um, possibility of that pushing higher. So might be one worth watching here um, um, overall. And CMI uh, Cummins also showing maybe some positive signs where we've pushed up and whoops, we've pushed up and now we're getting um, this little pullback. If we can catch a support level in here someplace and bounce off of that, some of these um, heavy equipment um, Stocks are starting to show that little bit of an improvement overall. Let's take a look at uh, BMY. Now BMY, I mentioned it yesterday, BMY moved on higher, ended up by the end of the day pulling back a little bit, but still holding in this trend. And what I like about this chart is that we're still holding um, above this price resistance or price support here. So we broke through. Now any rest or consolidation in here still gives us that opportunity to maybe move higher. BMY breaking its overall downtrend and starting to show signs of bullishness might be worth paying attention to in that uh, chart. Apple yesterday made a really nice move up and popping on through and then ended up pulling back on the day. But Apple breaking through this price resistance here in this chart, trying to move itself up in this trend. Today they released the Apple iPhone 11 and it'll be interesting to see. Um, I, I understand there's lines forming outside the stores to buy the phone. 
So we'll have to watch and see. But as they release, if there's good news on the release, that could still pick up and move uh, to the upside. But definitely one to be watching over the next few days to see if there's an opportunity there um, in those charts. Take a look at Fitbit. Fitbit, I think I mentioned yesterday, Fitbit trying to move up and deal with this down. Whoops. Somehow I moved to a two day chart. There we go. Uh, Fitbit um, in this downtrending um, downtrending line here, trying to break through that. And as you can see, we've moved up nicely, almost filling this gap, but we still have more of that gap to fill up into here. So if we can deal with this resistance level here, challenge that and break on through, Fitbit may have that opportunity to move on higher. Big moves were made yesterday in like uh, some of the Chinese um, stocks like BABA made a big popping move came all the way back by the end of the day, but we're still holding in this bullish trend here on BABA and watch this price support. Now that we've broken through there, if we can rest or consolidate over into this trend, there's still opportunity here in stocks like BABA. Take a look at WB. WB, nice little pattern here. It tried to pop yesterday as well with a lot of stocks, popped up, broke through that um, resistance area but then ended up by the end of the day pulling back watch this area in here if this can continue to hold and rest and pop back up there may be some opportunity um, in that chart um, we also have charts in some of these defensive sector stocks like Campbell's soup Campbell's moving up here in a nice little trend nice little consolidating move here just waiting to see if that can break on through to the upside so a few charts for you to put on your list and pay attention to. One last one I want to give you is, is Microsoft. Microsoft made a big move um, yesterday, popping big and breaking through this little downtrending um, um, wedge here. And any hold or consolidation above here that holds in this area, we might watch for that opportunity to break on higher. So kind of keep that in mind on Microsoft as well. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you a great weekend. Thank you very much for those who um, click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments. You guys are awesome. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Talk to you soon.